I'm not gonna lie. Like I did, I saw a little clip of, of Yuri like describing why he quit No Jumper, and like yeah. it was such bullshit that I was kind of like a little bit annoyed by him. So when this clip started going viral, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was you not, almost. I was not totally mad by it because you guys weren't around back then. But like the real reason why he stopped being here was because he kept fucking up the titles. Like yeah, one hundred percent. One reason, only one reason. He was working there. I would send an email with all the titles. I'd do a Brick Baby interview. Boom. Here's the here's the full Brick Baby title, and here's 10 titles. And I want those titles exactly the way I wrote it on the YouTube. Why don't because you copy and paste at this point? I, I realistically <laughs> feel like I have better grammar skills than most, most people. I've been writing titles for fucking forever. I know exactly how I want them to look. And if, if there's going to be an error, which there is sometimes, like fucking... I, I, Post, there was a clip that went up the other day and it was Violent J, but it was supposed to be Shaggy 2 Dope. I fucked it up. I want those mistakes to be on me so that I can't blame anybody because to me, the titles being right is like the most important fucking thing in the world, you know? So like, that was it. He fucked up like three, four, five times in a row. Eventually, I was like, we can't do this anymore. And then like, I saw this clip of him talking about why he doesn't work in No Jumper anymore and he's talking about how he wasn't getting paid enough. And it's like, you might have felt that way, but you didn't quit. Like you got fired. Like this was For like sure. it was very simple. For sure. So it's so weird. Like like there's a couple other things I've seen in the like of people talking about why they were no longer here, and I'm just like, what? Like you're just making shit up. Like you just. It, have been just cooking up like new narratives for the past couple of years instead of like saying what really happened. Like that's crazy. Yeah, he tried to go in on Josh uh, today. On Josh too. You seen that? You seen that? That's crazy. What did Josh, he Josh got it back on him today. He didn't want to. I didn't hear what Josh said to him, but like, okay, the thing with Josh, like, and, and this reminds me of another clip I saw like a couple of weeks ago where people were talking shit about me saying like, Josh does so much of the hard work. It's like, yeah, motherfucker, I hired him. Like that. Yeah. You're you're uh, you're uh, telling uh, me uh, that I'm running a good business. If you say, oh, Remo's getting so many of the guests, or Remo's helping on so many of the interviews, yeah. Thank you. I fucking found somebody really good and I hired them. Like Josh, yeah. in, in, <laughs> no jumper before Josh was a fucking shit show. Like from a organized. business perspective, from a content perspective, from like a, us doing an interview and then getting it out perspective. Like I hired Josh literally because we did an escape room together. You ever do an escape room? Mm -hmm. It's like a, they lock you in a fucking room. Yeah, I got to figure it out. And you have to solve all these puzzles right. to get out of the room. Yeah. I myself have very, very bad problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. Like when you're in Zelda and you're trying to get out of the dungeon. All right. I'll I quit. I, I quit. The I game. gotta look it up. I don't know. I look uh, it up. I have no fun. It's impossible. Yeah, I can't do it. I quit. Yeah. Josh was killing this fucking escape room. And I like he's like my sister's fucking husband at this point. Yeah. But I had never really like thought about like how his brain worked that much pause that's not it's not like a little Wayne yeah, punchline yeah, yeah, no but uh no he, he basically like I, I was so impressed with the escape room that i ended up basically offering him the job and my more or less what i told him when he came out here was like please like just help me get this fucking business together yeah so if you compliment josh that, that's a compliment to me because i fucking somehow found somebody yeah, josh that was, flowers in. josh it. definitely deserves his get flowers for sure and to say that josh is well, I don't know. Like, I mean, was Josh talking shit about people behind their backs? I have no fucking clue. I'm sure he's got opinions about people, and maybe he would share them with Yuri. I don't know why that's like a dunk to be like, oh, you privately expressed opinions about people, and now I'm gonna just expose this. Not like he exposed it, but he said that he has that knowledge. It's like, yeah, you guys were like super close working together for all those years. Of course, he told you what he thought of people. Yeah, I'm not like challenging him to reveal those things, yeah. but like, that's not surprising to me. Yeah, and it's like. Man, that's life. You talk about people talk like mm -hmm. people talk about Josh behind his back. So right. the same person that you gonna say like, oh yeah, if they were, if the vibe was, you ain't fucking with it right now, and you can tell this in there. Of course, they both talked about each mm -hmm. other behind. You got back. friends who when talk they about each other behind their back a little bit, whatever to their peoples or to whoever the fuck. And they still don't go out and just say, this motherfucker be saying this, because they still be with that motherfucker. Because saying yeah. that somebody was talking behind your back is like the dumbest. It gotta be something for real. Yo, because I remember when when that shit originally happened with AD, not to bring this shit up, but like when that shit happened with AD where basically like he was saying, oh, you were talking behind my back, that whole narrative that he kind of issued when he left No Jumper. Yeah. I remember talking to academics about it, and academics was laughing at it and saying, that's some Zeus shit. <laughs> Which is true. Like, that's like reality show shit that, mm -hmm. like, women argue about on reality shows. Right. It's like, you were talking, Bitch, behind, you my talking back. behind my back. Bro, let's think about the real world. 
it sucks that he just walked away, but like you and Brick, all this little drama and shit that you guys been having, of course you're having fucking conversations about each other with other people. People are calling you and saying, blah, blah, blah. And you got to tell them, like, me and Brick are cool, yada, yada. That's technically a conversation behind his back. But it's not like, it, it's only a conversation behind someone's back. I if can it's, say if whatever, it's, if whatever you say the fuck something, I want when but, I say it. But, if you say something that's you know, totally different than the, the energy that you hit him with when you guys are talking face to face, then right, you're fucked up. Right, right. But if you go tell somebody something behind their back that you also are communicating to them to their face, mm. that is not talking behind their right, back. Right, right. Like my friends, if I say anything about them, I say it to their face too. Right. They know I feel like this. If I feel like one of the homies ain't coming to work or do whatever, I'm like, cause a lazy bitch. You oh, feel man. me? That's something I tell him to his face though.